Welcome to Learn with Priyanka. Question 87. You have a Microsoft Power BI semantic model. You need to identify any surrogate key columns in the model that have the summarize by property set to a value other than to none. The solution must minimize effort. What should you use? A. DAX Formatter in DAX Studio. B. Model Explorer in Microsoft. Power BI Desktop C. Model View in Microsoft Power BI Desktop D. Best Practice Analyzer in Tabular Editor. The correct answer is D. Best Practice Analyzer in Tabular Editor. This tool is specifically designed to automatically check your Power BI model against best practices, including identifying any surrogate key columns with the Summarize By property set to something other than None. It efficiently pinpoints potential issues in your model, saving you the effort of manually inspecting each column. Here's why the other options are not correct. A. DAX Formatter in DAX Studio While DAX Studio is excellent for formatting and analyzing DAX code, it isn't intended for inspecting the properties of columns in a semantic model. Therefore, it wouldn't help in identifying the Summarize By settings for surrogate keys. B. Model Explorer in Microsoft Power BI Desktop Although you can use the Model Explorer to inspect your model, it doesn't provide the automated checks or best practice recommendations like the Best Practice Analyzer. This means you would need to manually search for any surrogate key columns with incorrect summarization settings, which is less efficient. C. Model View in Microsoft Power BI Desktop Similar to the Model Explorer, the Model View allows you to manually examine the model. However, it lacks the automated best practice checks offered by the Best Practice Analyzer. As a result, identifying issues with summarization settings would require more manual effort, making this option less ideal. See you with another question. Make sure to like, share and subscribe for more videos.